and enjoy the fireworks that'll be coming in in two seconds. There we go. Now, that was actually very effective. Didn't destroy any civilian property. Well, you know, we broke a little wall down. The guys are all like, uh-oh, that ain't good. We destroyed their two vehicles. All right, howdy boyos. Welcome back to more War Room. I haven't played in probably five or six months. The developers actually contacted me uh, very recently, uh, a couple of weeks ago, just been super, super busy. Let's turn this down a little bit because it's kind of loud. Super, super busy, but they contacted me and said, hey, we have a new update out. Uh, you can now direct control units. They've done a whole overhaul. Uh, bases can now be upgraded. Uh, there's new units, and I figured it was finally time for me to try and jump back in to War Room and check it out. Now, if you don't know what War Room is, very, very basic. You basically have a drone you send it to locations and then you have to uh, make sure that you help your ground units destroy the enemy opposition forces uh, it's, that's literally what it is obviously it's a little more detailed than that but that's the main premise you have uh, one sector here <clears throat> that's currently under your control and you have to secure a bunch of other sectors now different missions sometimes they're eliminated enemies sometimes they're captured sometimes they're clear sometimes there's ieds uh, there's a whole different set of missions. Uh, there's a bunch of different air supports. And if you haven't seen me play War Room before, we'll go over all of that. But I mainly wanted to play War Room again because, the, you know, that our control is kind of a cool idea. Because that was one of my main complaints. Like, hey, I have all these call units, cool units. But if I can't direct control them, I'm just hoping that they don't, you know, kind of waste themselves. For example, an ATGM Humvee driving straight at infantry. That doesn't really help. Anyway, I just skipped past the tutorial. It takes you about 10 minutes to go play through, which is no way to skip it yet. Kind of annoying if the de developers are watching. If you guys could please make a skip tutorial button, that'd be awesome. Anyhow, I figured before we jump into the actual gameplay, the developers also send me a couple of game keys to give away. What I've done in the past for War Room specifically as well, is if you want a key, just leave a comment. Drop a like on the video, and uh, I guess leave your Discord username and the little, you know, hashtag number, and then I'll pick a couple winners, and then in, in a future War Room video, as proof, I'll, uh, I'll put a little screenshot of me telling those people, hey, you want a key, and hopefully they're really excited about it. Uh, but yeah, if you want to get a copy of War Room, just leave your comment, you know, leave uh, your Discord ID so I can, you know, actually contact you. And then uh, I'll pick a couple of lucky winners. Uh, maybe your comment's really funny, or maybe I just like your name, whatever. With that being said, we're going to jump into some more War Room. Like I said, I'm actually kind of excited because I haven't done it um, in a long time. And I figured it was kind of time to, to go like check it out again. So right now we're just sending one of our drones to this mission. Uh, our mission here is to deal with weapon smugglers. Uh, this actually might still be kind of part technically of the tutorial. I'm not really 100% sure. Um, our drone has arrived, so now let's take a look at the drone feed. If you haven't played in your war room in the last couple of months, you can see there's a bunch of new things. They added cinematics and stuff like that, uh, which actually is uh, is pretty cool. Okay, so it looks like we have uh, about seven insurgents with a pickup. Another, what is that, three, four. There's a couple hiding here behind the trees. And then there is a building. Uh, it looked like it was enemy for a second, but it looks like we have about a squad and a half of insurgents, and they're all kind of guarding this cave. Now, technically, we could, and I really don't mind doing that, we could just destroy this with air support, but we want to obviously send some ground units in because the cave otherwise doesn't get cleared. Maybe the game is okay with it if we just Moab, uh, or mother of all bombs, the cave, which technically would collapse it. But let's be sure we'll send them some ground units and then we'll support them with some Apache or gunship support. So I guess what we'll do, we'll back out of the drone and assign some units to deal with these hostiles. So first of all, let's find some vehicles. So I guess we should get an MRAP with the um, EOD on it so we don't have to worry about IEDs. And then we'll get two strikers, which I think carry two infantry each. And we'll get a Humvee. So we're going to be able to carry five infantry. We'll send two Ranger Special Ops, you know, because it's kind of a special op mission to go in there, I guess. Um, we'll send some one squad of heavy infantry that still leaves us with two infantry spots left. 
and I guess we'll send a veteran light and a regular light. Start the attack. So they're going to be heading out. This is a little blue square. You can see the path they're taking, heading out to this objective. And then uh, what we'll do actually when they're almost there, uh, we'll probably call in air support. Uh, from uh, from the base now earlier in the tutorial which I didn't show you I sent out a patrol and a unit on a hearts god dang it that's what I was afraid of it's kind of what they do it's still part of the tutorial where they kind of like want to kind of teach you what to do um, on purpose I didn't actually add an I uh, like an EOD vehicle so now this these guys ran into um, an uh, you know an IED which means they were going to have to send them an EOD vehicle to make sure that it gets cleared so we'll send this Husky VMD we'll send a Humvee and a light infantry so they're now going to leave the base and head over here make sure it's clear um, we don't really have to worry I don't think about sending in a um, a drone but we are gonna send a Blackhawk Blackhawk is now also flying out to make sure it's secure, uh, but this was a not an attack, it was just an uh, like an IED, so it's not a, a huge issue. Um, look at them that picked up, but that was kind of a little annoying because obviously we're trying to deal with the uh, uh, this event, this mission. So we're gonna okay when they're about here, I'll probably send in some air support. Okay, they have been medevaced, and then my EOD unit is arriving there, and they'll be. Uh, assisting them you can see the little progress bar starts filling up uh, they're still kind of far away okay let's take a look at this drone actually if it's possible if the terrain allows it we could actually see our friendly units up there they are there they are actually approaching and see our friendly units are almost here so it might be time to call in a black hawk it's going to be arriving in about 40 seconds i guess it's taken off off base or it's already maybe even in the air uh, but you can see here our EOD clearing up front, the Humvee, and then the two strikers. And those are carrying, it uh, looks like we have um, light infantry, like I said, some more light infantry, heavy infantry. And there should also be some uh, Ranger Special Ops on board. So I'm thinking we can maybe try to intercept where this Blackhawk's coming from. It would be cool if we can kind of see it coming in before it actually gets into the AO. Uh, let's see if we can... Oh. Did not mean to do that. Just want to, I, I don't like seeing notifications. It kind of really triggers me. Uh, let's see if we can see the uh, Blackhawk coming in anywhere. Oh, there it is. There it is. I can't, I can't aim up more. Um, but bet your ass it's going to come in and rocket or gun some stuff down while our units are approaching. Now, I don't want to use any bombs or airstrikes because I don't want to cause any uh, damage. Oh, was that a rocket coming in from the Blackhawk? It actually looks like it has gun pods on it, or rocket pods on it. But yeah, I don't want to use any airstrikes because I don't want to damage civilian infrastructure because it actually does give you negative points in this game. Now, a big thing that I mentioned earlier, as we pause this for a second, is you can give direct orders. All right, so I've just added both of the strikers to the direct control menu. Now, I just have to select both of them, click Move to, select the position, and they'll start heading out there. I can then, uh, I can change their stance from attack to passive to defensive. Um, I can also just disable them again. So they will follow that order I gave them. Uh, even if they're getting shot at, they don't really care. They'll just push ahead. I'm kind of wondering when or how are Blackhawks going to start engaging. I guess actually you can see some... Oh, that was some... <laughs> I'm not sure if that's necessarily very accurate. Uh, it's lobbing some rockets and guns from pretty uh, pretty close there. Okay, our strikers have deployed the infantry, so they're now moving up. I think our Blackhawk might actually be... Uh, it's still there. Actually, come on. Do something useful. Shoot a rocket or something. Oh, there's the gun on it. And heavy gunners are hitting the technical. Technical's down. Pretty basic mission. These are very early missions in uh, in the game. This is, still, I guess, technically part of the tutorial. Our infantry is remounting. So the EOD vehicle taking up the lead, while the strikers and infantry and Humvee are going to be going back to base. Um, luckily, we have the EOD in there, so we should be all right. We're going to cancel the drone. Actually, what we could do is return the drone... But instead of returning it, uh, what we'll do, actually, we'll send a drone to cover this team. So the cool thing is, this map isn't just boring and you can actually only see, like, let's say this town or this town or the, the events. This drone is legit flying over the world map. So now, if I wanted to, when the drone gets to the team that just cleared out, 
that mission, I can actually take a look at this drone and I can follow this team all the way around the map. So as you can see, they're just lining up. That's where the uh, the cave was. And they're going to be following this road all the way back to base. And it's kind of a long road. You can see uh, if we exit the drone that, oh, did not mean to click that. And as I zoom, zoom in, there is a huge road. This is kind of where those, where those houses are. There's a huge road they're gonna have to follow back to base, uh, even through another village to, to get back. So at any moment, you could get an IED. Well, technically with an EOD uh, vehicle, it should be a lot safer. Um, an IED or ambushes, or they can just get in contact. And then you cannot provide any air support uh, until you actually fly one of your drones over there and, and get eyes on the situation. Now, I guess that Blackhawk wasn't super necessary there, but just for the hell of it, why not? We'll do, we'll skip ahead time a little bit, and I'll show you what I mean by we're going to go check this drone feed out again. Totally different area. We've moved on probably a couple of clicks from the original location. And if there was an ambush here or anything happened, I could at least intervene right away and get right on, on what these guys are doing. As you can see, they're just kind of driving along this valley. Could be a perfect ambush location, by the way. It was a pretty dark here at 630 uh, still, but you get the idea. It, and that personally to me was really cool. I didn't really understand that at first. Like, how does this game work? But apparently every single thing, every single like meter of this map is technically mapped out and you could access it at any time. Now these are a hearts and mind unit. So they're gonna, gonna do, they're gonna drive over there, hang out in the town, kind of uh, spread our influence. And hopefully that will also cause less IEDs um, on the roads, which would make it safer for everyone involved. Now we have another mission, we're hunting the enemy, one of the leaders. So we're gonna send in a drone and take a look. Actually, we can probably cancel this drone because we're so close to base now. Um, so we're going to get them back and then take a look at uh, at what's happening over here. This airbase, by the way, is very huge. If you look at it, it's like almost... I mean, two of these air bases. if there was another entire air base the size of this over here, we'd basically get to that other objective. But let's take a look here. So we're flying over. Uh, you can see here the progress bar is filling up. Just, you know, I'm cleaning the road, cleaning the IED, making sure it's all safe and secure. Dropping into this drone for the next mission, which I think does, like I said, have a, uh, a target, which would be one of the uh, the rebel leaders that we're looking at. Okay, that's a, that's a lot of people. That's about two and a half squads, two technicals, but a lot of uh, buildings, houses, we cannot just mow, we could, <laughs> we could, I say we can't, I could MOAB this. It would just mean, you know, we, we which basically incur some penalties. But what would be nice is if I got an A-10 run straight across these two technicals. So what we can do, we can send in some forces, obviously overwhelm them with numbers, but then right when we arrive, we can strafe these two vehicles with an A-10 run, which, by the way, A, sounds really good, and B, will also be very effective and stop them from driving off and make it a lot easier for my guys on the ground. Um, just hoping that the HVI, the guy we're looking for, is not going to be manning one of these technicals or near them. But that's kind of a risk we may or may not have to take. So we're going to back out of our drone. We're going to assign some units to this mission. Um, it says that the large insurgent force... Okay, just have to defeat all the enemies in the specified area. So we are going to grab... Uh, let's take a... This is two. That's three. That's four. And we need a husky to cover. And then we're just going to send a bunch of light infantry where we can send one heavy infantry. So we should have... Uh, oh, actually, dude, let's do a regular heavy, not a veteran heavy. So we have two, like two, plus one, plus one. I'm looking into transportable units. So we can carry four infantry. We've assigned four infantry. We've assigned a husky to make sure that they don't get, uh, you know, accidentally step on an IED on the way there. And then right when they get there, we'll do an A-10 run. Well, as you can see, we only have four hours and 50 minutes to complete this mission. And obviously, the faster I go to time, the faster uh, that happens. So we probably want to enter the drone feed. Oh, okay. It's nice. It's nice. A little, it's a little brighter now. This actually should be their new graphics, their new day graphics. Oh, that's not good. I'm a little worried about this. 
hitting the buildings. Support request yeah, we'll find received. out. I wonder if we can see my friendlies. We'll switch to thermal. Let's see if we can see my friendlies anywhere on this area. It doesn't look like we can see any friendlies just yet, but I promise you they are not very far away. We just saw them uh, coming in on the map. Let's do one more circle. A10 is almost in position. Okay, I guess we'll go back, switch off a of thermal, and enjoy the fireworks that will be coming in in two seconds. There we go. Now, that was actually very effective. Didn't destroy any civilian property. Well, you know, we broke a little wall down. The guys are all like, uh-oh, that ain't good. We destroyed their two vehicles. So we're going to actually back out of this and take a look. Is it saving the game? We'll take a look and see how far uh, the assault team is. They're not that very far away. They should be there in like, well, 20 seconds. And uh, we actually got rid of the IED, which is good. So both those teams are heading back to base. Uh, we didn't lose anyone. I'm surprised there isn't any wounded in actions, although it might have been this one. Nope, there's no wounded in actions either way. And that one was easy because we destroyed so many of their units in the A-10 run. Uh, those guys had a very, very easy and basic mission of just mopping up uh, their resistance and capturing the guy. So we're uh, going to go ahead back to base. I think we still have a team here. Or did those guys come back to base too? Actually, it looks like they even... Looks like they, even they came back to base. Okay, what we can do, we can do a hearts and might mission. So we'll send a new hearts and might mission out. We'll send, uh, what is it? A heavy infantry and a light infantry. And with a uh, IED vehicle and two Humvees to transport them. We'll set the time for 8 a.m. It's now 7. And I guess we'll send them down to this village of Dawa. And uh, there we go. So they're going to start heading out to do that. And a patrol will do the same thing because we patrols lower the risk in your area, which is obviously very useful. Uh, we'll send a cougar and a buffalo 8 a.m. Because this obviously just got, uh, you know, they got, they got attacked um, by, well, they stepped on an IED, I guess, technically. 8 a.m. Uh, so that should be good. And then, uh, eh, that's all right. I think, is this the fuel or is that the endurance? Is that the morale, actually? I think. It should be all right. We're going to just go ahead and they're going to send two. Oh, we got a new base or a new mission. So what we'll do, we'll send a drone here. And our... Oh, we actually have to support the village as they may or may not be. Okay, they're gonna be attacking the village for the support that the villagers gave us. So what we're gonna to have to do, we're gonna send some units here. There's a, it's a bunch of civilians walking around right now. We're gonna to have to send some units here to defend. I do like these graphics, they actually look pretty crispy. Um, we're gonna to have to send some units here so to defend, which is not a huge issue. Uh, we can send some light infantry. We'll do, uh, what, four light infantry. A mat, to win hearts and a mat V, a mat V, and then maybe we can get one of these UD ones and a striker. Okay, boom, done. So I should cover the units there. They're heading out. Uh, also heading out right now are the hearts and mind mission, the patrol, and for this mission. So we got basically, wait, did I actually send, oh wait, that's funny. I did send the hearts and mind unit to actually go, um, go to this town as well. So maybe we can even get, uh, oh God, really? Oh, an ambush, that's not good. All right, uh, send drone. And we have to hurry up. I mean, that's like right next to our base. Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh, that's a cool little cinematic there. Okay, our drone is on station. Take a look at the feed. We gotta be fast with these. Usually they outnumber your guys quite badly just because I don't send out huge patrols of billions of guys um, so let's take a look here and see those are my friendly units and we have okay that's a decent amount of enemies okay I see what they've done they've okay they've actually destroyed one of my vehicles so we got friendlies amongst enemies at the moment I don't know if we can drop an f-16 or an Apache f-16 right here on the target wouldn't be bad but yeah, there's friendlies on this far side. 
Oh, it looks like we may have actually lost a couple friendlies there. Uh, potentially KIA, although we are mowing them down just as much. And then there's also this friendly vehicle that got destroyed. Here's a MRAP. We're going to have to divert control. Stop Add away. unit. Move two. Fall him back. Because he's pretty close to the enemies over right here. Ahead. That was not bad. Good one, guys. Uh, we didn't knock out one of their... Come on, I told you to move. I need to, need to get the hell out of there because he's way too close at the moment and I do not want to just lose more than the one vehicle I have to lose. Uh, we can take a look here. Add units. We're going to control all of them. Move forward. What is that? Oh, that might be the Buffalo. Yeah, okay, that's the uh, EOD vehicle. So I'm telling these units to push up to try and support uh, this one uh, cougar is also the infantry that I'm pretty sure yeah, this is not good. We're pretty sure we did lose some people there in the process. There's only a single pickup left. Is there a second pickup over here? They're like, we're next to each other. There's two enemy vehicles left. They're just, kind of just like driving into each other right now. I mean, this guy's getting absolutely harassed. I like how they're like next to each other. This is like almost pirates. So when are they going to start boarding his technical? But this thing should be dead in a couple seconds. Getting hit pretty good with a bunch of M240s and 50 cals it looks like. That one's done. But that is not good. Uh, we did get three KIA which is a little bad and also uh, that means we have to get these guys back so that will not be the patrol they'll be doing. Yeah we're going to have to get those guys back to base. Because that's not good. Um, so it was a mission success, but we did kill, lose three KIA. Uh, I think they get replenished over time, but that's obviously still not a good thing. Uh, can we take a look here? Our security is pretty high. Our popularity is medium. The mine contamination is still pretty high. I think the more runs we do where we uh, drive around those EOD units, uh, the better. The more it basically allows... Uh, us to get the mine contamin contamination down. Uh, we can see here the progress bar for the defense is filling up. Now, I don't really have to worry about that. I think we sent more than enough units out there. Oh, uh, I think we sent more than enough units out there. I don't think I wrote to send any air support in. So that should be a mission complete. Hopefully not without losing too many guys. Okay, actually 9 KIA on their side and we lost zero. That's good. Okay, we got a mission that we can... Actually, it says Operation Smuggler is successful. Let's take a look here because it's doing a bunch of... I hope that those units are making it back to base. We have to make a decision here. Legal arms smuggling is a severe problem that undermines the security in the area. Appropriate reforms should be introduced to conductivity. So we have to endorse one of three gun laws. We should invest. Okay, that seems a little weird. We could it, we can send okay. Uh, these are all kind of bad, huh? I mean, this one doesn't make much sense to me. This one doesn't make much sense to me. But then the only one, uh, you know what? We're gonna go for the the top one. And then uh, I don't think we have to worry about the elections just yet. Um, because I can't even click press start on this. But I, I think that that option I picked was probably the best one. Just so we... I don't want to encourage more people to own guns in, in this area right now. It doesn't really seem to make a lot of sense. That would just be... I think kind of a bad uh, a bad idea. But for now, I think we're going to call it here for War Room. We're definitely going to be coming back since I actually do enjoy the Dower Control stuff, the new graphics upgrade. Uh, just a little bit, um, you know, pushing it further and further. Uh, the game definitely has progressed quite a bit since I last played it. Like I said, we're going to be doing some more for now. Hope you guys enjoyed. Love to see you in the next one. Cheers.